Miss Jamie here from the Crystal Lake Public Library's Youth Department. Today we are going to do some kitchen chemistry. What you're going to need today for your science project is whole milk or 2% milk. Those will work best. Some dish soap. A pie plate will work good or you could just use a bowl. A fork a Q-tip, some food coloring, and then after our science, port, our science experiment portion, we are going to do a little bit of art also. So you'll need a small piece of either watercolor paper or cardstock and some newspaper. All right, are you ready? Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is take our milk and pour it into our pie plate. And then you can get creative with your colors. And we're just going to put some different colors all around our plate on top of the milk. If you notice, when I'm putting the drops on, the food coloring is actually not going into the milk. It's not mixing up right now. It's just sitting on top of it. And that is because that there's surface tension. That's holding the color on top. When you have your colors around as you wish, it is time to add our dish soap. With this part, the reaction will go very, very fast, but it is a cool reaction. You can either use a Q-tip with a little bit of dish soap on top, or you can just simply pour a little dish soap right into the mix. I'm gonna try first with just using, oh, and there we go. So your colors will start to swirl around now. And what's happening is that milk has a high fat content, especially the whole milk that we're using. And there's fat molecules in there which are nonpolar and they don't dissolve in water. And the water is actually polar. The soap molecules have one end that is polar and one end that is nonpolar. So the soap comes between the water and the fat and then kind of pushes it around, zipping it around. So the soap is chasing those molecules of fat around the pie plate. And the reaction will go for a little bit. You can see new colors coming up from the bottom. And it makes pretty cool patterns. There's some blue popping up. You see some orange coming out that's from the colors mixing. And it looks like maybe that's it. So now for the art part. We're going to take our fork I'm going to put my paper here. And we're going to kind of swirl our colors up a little bit. And you're going to take your watercolor paper and just gently put it on top. And then we're going to pull up. And we have some really cool patterns on there. I'm going to set that one to the side. And you can use it more than once. I'm going to use the cardstock now to set it on top. Pull 
lit up. Ooh, that one's kind of cool. I'm going to set those to the side to dry. The book we used was called Kitchen Chemistry. It's written by Cynthia Light Brown and it's published by Nomad Press. Hope you can try this. It's really fun.